What's good guys, Jordan here from RK Tunes. I have a bunch of cars I need to dyno today. The first car, 95 M3 with a turbo kit. I don't know the exact step, it's got an eight and a half to one motor, it looks like an active motor, it's a turbo manifold, three inch exhaust, decent size intercooler. The thing is, the customer's gonna go to California with this car, so we're gonna actually dyno here, it has 91 in it already. I'm gonna dyno it, sure, on 14, 15 pounds boost, make some power. It's currently on our base tunes, so let's see what it does. So this car right off the bat made uh, 350 wheel horsepower, 318 wheel torque, nothing too crazy. Check this out. Not a bad looking graph, a little dip right here. Same problem, this car's really rich pretty much everywhere. I know it's okay once O2 turned on, but it is rich like everywhere. Customer has a really bad charge pipe, check this out. This is small, it's like two and a half inches. This is three inches. By having this transition here's reducer, creates a lot of turbulent air going through the mass airflow center. It actually makes, because of the turbulent air, it actually makes the map read a lot higher than it should be, causing a ton of drivability issues and making the car run rich. Customers said the car drives really good. In my opinion, um, I'm happy he was happy, but it did not drive good. So that's the baseline pulls at 358 wheel. I'm gonna pull a bunch of fuel out, make a bunch of tweaks, he's not changing step anytime soon. And then I'll turn the boost up. There's also 10, 12 pounds of boost, so I'm gonna start tweaking and make some more hit. I just put a new tune in the car, pulling out fuel everywhere. I think it needs fuel pulled. Let's make another hit and see if it's better. I turned the boost up from the 10 to maybe 12 pound boost it was running to about 14, 15 pound boost, made quite a few hits and just not gaining anything. Uh, it's just sort of out of octane for what it is. They got 91 octane from some gas station in Connecticut. Typically on 91 in California, even though that's really worse, I run 14, 15 pound boost with no real knock or any issues. This car right now is pulling timing past that 12 pound boost range. I'm gonna show you right now like one of the better 10, 12 pound boost runs and then one of the 15 pounds boost run, check this out. But before I show you this, you can actually see the car down low, all um, more boost makes way more power. And then as RPM increases, starts pulling more and more timing, the power from 12 pounds to 15 pounds, or 10, 12 pounds, the gauge fluctuates a little bit, to 14, 15 pounds, is the same up top. So, the blue is the before, the less boost, and the red's more boost. So I mean, up here, it's literally about the same. I lifted a hair early right here, um, but I mean, it was not gonna fix it. Tim, you're gaining about 40 foot pounds torque down low, 
with better gas, he would have gained easily 40 horsepower. So, Custom Falls asked me about running 85, I told him he can try it, put a gallon or two, see what it does. If it was me, I would run this car with a gallon or two 85 and probably make 400 plus wheel horsepower. So, but that's all I can do for right now. Drivability is perfect now. The AFR idles, perfect. I fixed all of his issues through that crappy math setup. That's it, so this one's off the dyno on to the next one. All right, so on this M8, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do some pulls on it, see what makes it in the factory. I run these cars all wheel drive mode. I sent up people online running in different modes. All wheel drive mode with our link system. See what we make. All right, tunes on the car. I'm gonna make some hits with the tune and see where it's at. everywhere. So, so 70 wheel horsepower, 100 wheel torque, three so mods, intake down by two. That's not even the gains we got from the intake down by by itself. That's just the gains after the tune. Intake down by probably another 10, 20 horsepower easy this car. So that's it for this car. 